the defense is, is now the more experienced, mature group uh, kind of trying to pull along the offense? Um, I wouldn't say that and such. I mean, the, the, we just we want to uh, pull the best out of the offense every year. So if we, we come and do what we have to do, I mean, everybody's talking like uh, – because like, we don't have anybody coming back on offense from last year and all the returning yards or whatever the, the stats are. I, I know that they're going to be the best they can be on game day, and then that's our job at practice or at camp to, to get them to be the best that they can be. So we, we're going to be the best. They're going to be the best offense that you're going to see, and we're going to be the best defense you can see on the other side of it. From what you've seen during scrimmage, who would you put behind center? I don't think I can comment on that. <laughs> Just know whoever straps it up and, and uh, you know hands the ball to the running backs is. It's going to be the best choice for us. When it comes to this team not having a lot said about it, there you know, aren't necessarily outside expectations that are high. Does that make it easier for you guys? Do you feel like there uh, is maybe more like a wide open situation going on? Um, I guess it depends on who you are. I mean, I like pressure. Some people thrive under pressure. Some people you know, like to prove people wrong. So I guess uh, whatever you are, you got to find out what's gonna, what that's going to do for you. So. Um, I think, you know, people sleeping on us this year and, you know, ranking us where they rank us or say whatever they want to say. It doesn't matter. We're just going to show up, strap our shoes up, top my shoes up, and, and then go to work on September 2nd. Coach, just compared to this, I guess, set of non-expectations or non-very high expectations externally to what the 2015 team had, uh, do you feel like they maybe set a good example of just going out and doing them without necessarily being expected to? Yeah, definitely. I mean, I remember playing on that 2015 team and being a redshirt freshman and nobody really knew my name as a starter. So, I mean, you come in different year, different team, and, you know, you just expect to, to, to be successful on both sides of the ball and, and just get after it on game day. So, I mean, I mean, I can feel the same thing as far as not really expecting us to do much and, and, and doubting us a little bit, but we're, we're ready to just prove them wrong. Your shirt said... So D-line, Showtime. Usually people think of Showtime, they think of finesse guys, skill guys. Uh, how did you guys come up with that name? What does it, what does it mean to you? Um, uh, Showtime's been here since, you know, before us, before me, before you. I mean, uh, you see all the guys probably around this, how it used to be around this stadium. I mean, they, they came up and put on a show out here from, from Pep to, to Sly to all of them. And so, I mean, we've always been Showtime. I mean, we've been trench mob with, under Coach Scott, but I think yeah. we're getting back to, you know, the roots and uh, just, just getting after it. Um, the group that you have now, you've got so many numbers. Like Coach Bush just told us last week, maybe up to 10 can play in, on the front line and without much of a drop-off. How, how noticeable is it to you when you're out there and you see that when you come out of the game that, that, that there is very little drop-off and you guys are deeper than you've been since you got here? I mean, uh, I appreciate it because, you know, I come onto the sideline and I'm, and I'm getting right back up to, you know, cheer on whoever's going in. And just to see that there is no drop-off and the next person right behind me or in front of me or whatever it is, playing just as well or or even better are just making out are making plays and that just means the defense is making plays which means the team's getting better so just to see no drop off on any level from the end spot to the interior it's just it's just a good feeling for me because i know if something were to happen to me you know god forbid then i know the next person that steps up is, is going to be ready to play i know the segments that we're allowed to watch and practice uh they're not always going to show us everything but it seems like there's just a constant rotation of guys that are working with the ones on, uh, up front on defense is it kind of safe to say that you guys have six seven eight starter caliber guys i say every person that straps up and, and will play for carolina as far as defense line goes is a starter they might not necessarily start the game off but they have starter potential and starter starter play and playmaking abilities and it as far as how many dudes I, I can't remember the number but they're they're all starters in my eyes as far as the way they're going to play on game day thanks